To use the SL Mark II to control Live's mixer and internal devices, the keyboard needs to be in Ableton Live mode. This mode works from onboard template number 40, which will be activated automatically on the hardware once you've set up the preferences every time you boot up Live. As you saw in the SL Mark II tutorial movies, controlling plugins is done when the hardware is in Automap mode. So you can use the Automap button to switch between controlling plugins in Automap mode and controlling the mixer and internal devices in Live mode. To set up the SL Mark II, you need to open up Live's preferences and go to the MIDI Sync tab. At the top, you can then select Remote SL as the control surface, and then set up the ports so that port 2 is selected for both the input and output. As soon as you do this, the controller will switch to Ableton Live mode. Before leaving the preferences, you should check that the switches at the bottom of the window are set up so that both of the Mark II's MIDI inputs and Automat MIDI all have their track and remote switches turned on. And for outputs, you should turn on the track and sync switches for port 1, and the remote switch for Automat MIDI. Now the faders on your SL map to the live mixer, with the buttons below mapping to track mute and record switches. You can use the page up and down switches in the top right to bank the faders to another group of tracks in your session, with the screen showing you the names of the currently selected tracks. On the 0SL Mark II, you simply hold down the preview button and press the page left and right buttons to bank the mixer. The row select buttons down the right side of the SL Mark II keyboards change the function of the faders to track panning and sends, where pressing the button repeatedly toggles all active sends. On the 0SL Mark II, holding down the preview button and then pressing any button in the top row below the faders changes their function to panning whilst the lower row changes them to controlling the sends, where one press is for send 1, and 2 for send 2, and so on. On the left side, the top two rows can be used to control Live's devices. Just click on the device's title strip so that the hand appears, and then the parameters pop up on the controller's screen, and you can use encoders to change values and buttons to reset them to their defaults. The page up and down buttons in the top left of the SL Mark II keyboards, or the page left and right buttons on the 0SL Mark II, change the encoders and buttons to a different set of device parameters, if more are available. The pots, drum pads, and lower row of buttons are free assign, so you can activate MIDI map mode in live and assign them to any areas of the software you want. Press the transport button to use the lower row of buttons on the right to control Live's transport. If you are finding this isn't working, then make sure Use Automap Huey is unchecked in Automap Settings menu.